Action News reporter Britt Carlson joins us from our satellite center to explain what this means for public safety. Britt. Yeah, Kira, and that $900,000 is a huge chunk of the $1.3 million shortfall the county is facing. Now, last year, the Glen County Sheriff had sim similar difficulties, but he was able to save jobs by retirements and resignations. But this year, layoffs, reduced patrols, and demotions are inevitable. Tough times are falling hard on Glen County. Not a lot of options left. We've depleted our reserves, and it's just down the point now. We just have to start making the really, really hard decisions. Starting with the sheriff's office. I thought that they might reconsider on uh, some of the amounts of money t being taken from the sheriff's office, but they've been taken down to below bare bones also. Difficult plans including restructuring, cutbacks, and unfortunately layoffs. The only options Sheriff Larry Jones is left with. Administrators are going to have to take on uh, the role, uh, the multiple roles of uh, doing different things and more things, and it places uh, added burdens on everyone to do more with less. 14 positions remain unfilled within the sheriff's office and Sheriff Jones expects five to seven layoffs this fiscal year, including the canine unit. We're talking about people's livelihood, people losing their jobs, and that is not an easy thing. I do have openings in the correctional side. If there are unfortunate layoffs with deputy sheriffs, we're working on seeing if they can become correctional officers. The sheriff expects to cut about seven patrol cars from the fleet, but promises to do everything within his power to keep 24-hour patrols. At least two deputy sheriffs on the county uh, patrols 24-7, 365. The Board of Supervisors must pass a budget by the end of June. Layoffs could happen as soon as the next supervisors meeting June 21st when the final budget numbers are presented. And as Sheriff Larry Jones put it, there's still a dark cloud looming over law enforcement. The legislature needs to decide whether the $700,000 in vehicle license fees will continue to be paid by the state or if it will be pawned off on the county. Live in the Satellite Center for NBC24 Action News, I'm Britt Carlson.